Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to create an eBay seller account with managed payments. In this video, we will demonstrate all the steps for creating an eBay seller account. We will show you how to list an item on eBay. And lastly, we will also show you how to set up your payment method. So watch this video till the end to better understand everything. To start selling on eBay, you need an account on it. If you already have an account on eBay, then use this sign in button to log in or else click the register button. This is the sign up page of eBay. First, you need to select the type of account. eBay has two types of accounts, personal account and the business account. If you have a registered business, then we recommend you to continue with the business account because you will get more tools and analytics compared to the personal account. Here enter your business's name, then here enter your email address and here create a password. Now select your business location from this drop down menu and if you want to just buy on eBay and not sell then tick this box and then finally click the register button. If you're a newbie seller and want to start your business from scratch, then we recommend you to continue with a personal account. Let's look at the registration process. First, you need to enter your first name, then your last name here, then your email address, and then a password. And once you're done with all these details, then go ahead and click the register button. Now on the next page, select your country from this drop-down menu and enter your complete address here. Select your country code and enter your mobile number here and then finally click the continue button. After registering successfully, you will be taken to your dashboard which is also called My eBay. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the interface now. Here on the top right side, you can see your eBay username, which was generated automatically after creating your eBay account. In the top of the left sidebar, you will have three different tabs for Activity, Messages and Account. Under the Activity tab, you can access the tabs for Summary, Recently Viewed, Bids or Offers, Purchases, Watch List, Saved Searches, Saved Sellers, my Garage, Selling, Collection Beta, and the eBay Vault. Under the Messages tab, you can communicate with buyers, sellers, or even with eBay. It's just like your mailbox. Under the Account tab, you'll have different sections. Under the Personal Info section, you can access the pages of Personal Information, Sign-in and Security, Addresses, Feedback, and request your eBay data. Under the Selling section, you can access the pages of Seller Dashboard and Subscriptions. Under the Payment Information section, you can access Payments and PayPal account. In the Donation Preferences section, you can access the pages of Pending Donations, Invoice to Donations, History, Favorites and Settings. And finally, under the Account Preferences section, you can access Permissions, Advertisement Preferences, Communication Preferences, and Close Your Account. Now let's demonstrate how you can list the products on your eBay store. Click the Activity tab and then expand the Selling tab. Then you can see the tabs for Overview, Sell an Item, Drafts, Scheduled, Active, Sold, Unsold, Payments and Shipping Labels. Click the Overview tab. You will be taken to the My eBay Selling Overview page. On this page, you will see the number of active listings, number of items sold and number of unsold items. And here you will see the total earnings in the last 90 days. Now click the Sell an Item tab. This is eBay's seller page. On this page, you will find all the details about the eBay seller account. Before starting to sell on eBay, it is recommended that you should know the three basic things or we can say three basic steps for this. 
First is list your item in which you can list new or unused items and pay a final value fee only when it sells. The second is get seller protection in which you will be protected by policies, monitoring and customer service team. And lastly is the choose when you get paid. You can schedule either daily or weekly payouts and eBay will deposit your earnings directly into your bank account. To start listing a product, click the list an item button. On eBay, you can list your item in just three steps. The first is to type keywords like the brand, the model or any other details like ISBN, MPN or BIN. The second is to choose from possible matches to help jumpstart your listing. And the last step is preview, make changes and then list your item. Here you need to specify what product you're going to sell. Enter the product's name. We're going to create this listing for watch. And then click the search icon. On the next page, eBay will suggest to use some of the top products matching your product's name. Scroll down to check your product in the list and if your product is not in the list, then click the continue without match button. Now on this pop-up window, select the condition of your item. You have options here like new with tags, new without tags, new with defects and pre-owned. Select the proper option here. We're going ahead with new with tags and then click the continue to listing button. This is the listing page where you need to specify all the details and the description of your product. From here, you can upload photos and videos. You can choose up to 24 photos or videos. Here, enter the title of your product. Then here, select the category. Scroll down and fill all the required details and specifications. And once you're done with filling all the details, then you can use this preview button to have a look at the listing of your product and you can use this save for later button to save this listing as a draft. And if you want to list the product right now, then click this list it button and your product will be listed for selling. Now let's add a payment method to our eBay account. Click my eBay at the top of the page and then click the account tab. On this page, under the Payment Information section, click Payments. To proceed further, you need to enter your password to verify your identity. And after verification, you will be taken to the Payments page, where you can add and delete payment options that you have to buy and sell on eBay. Now click the Continue button. On this page, you can set your payment methods. Click the Add Payment option button. A pop-up window opens and you will find all the payment methods that are available for your country. Go ahead and select your preferred payment method. Since we have only credit or debit card option here, we're going ahead and selecting it. So once you've selected your payment method, click the continue button. Since we selected the credit or debit card option, here we will need to enter the card details including the card number, expiration date, security code, and the name. You can use Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover cards. This is your eBay address, which will also be used as the billing address. You can make changes to it by clicking the Edit button. And once you're done with all of this, then click the Continue button, and your card information will get stored in eBay. If you click the PayPal account tab under the payment information tab in the left side bar, you will see a notice that says the ability to link a PayPal account is no longer available. However, any previously linked account remains active. If you're unable to create or revise listings due to this update, disable the require immediate payment with buy it now option in the listing. This simply means that now you cannot use and link your PayPal account with eBay. And with this, we have completed our tutorial on how to create an eBay seller account with managed payments. 
This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you've liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.